Hey YouTubers, this is Palm Springs Cindy. It has been um, six days since I had my CO2 laser. I had it last Saturday about 1.30 in the afternoon. And I, I started to do a video like day one, day two and so on, but I had, there were like three days in there where I was, or more, where I was really suffering. And suffering in that, it wasn't like, well, the suffering because my face was itched so bad. I just wanted to scratch, 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 scratch. And I was miserable. And that, that lasted for quite a while. But then I started taking <laughs> Benadryl and that just nipped that right in the butt. Plus, I also, um, you know, they gave me a pain pill which I would try to take, or I would take at night or whatever. You know, I took it when I wanted, when I needed to. But I found myself st starting to itch all over. And I think that's a sign that my body is saying, you know, that we're not tolerating that pain medication very well. So I, I really couldn't take that because it made everything worse. So, um, so anyway, there were about three really miserable days. And then things started getting better. But I still, you know, I'm still following this little protocol. So, um, you know, day one, you get the laser and then they put the, they put this all over your face. Just, you know, you have to keep the, um, the laser area moist and, and protected. And so that's what that did. And not, you know, not just my face, but my neck and down here. And then uh, day two through five. So yesterday was day five. I had to cleanse with ultra calm cleansing cream. And that was this. This. And it's two pump or a pump. I had actually two because I did my neck and chest area and i i've recently noticed this on um being advertised on facebook i think a doctor came a plastic surgeon came out with this line to help soothe ladies men and men that have this co that have any kind of facial resurfacing done it's like instead of saying go buy this the aquifer they they thought well we why don't we invent something and then we can sell it to our patients that's my opinion and so anyway i'm supposed to wash my face with with this and it does say if you get it in your eyes you know get it out very quickly but it's it seems to be very mild there is no scent so it, that's fine with me then after i wash my face i take a one of these uh pads and I, you know, I, I wipe and I wipe and I wipe and I wipe. And then while I'm wiping, all this dead skin is coming off. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't have, I didn't have a ton of dead skin. But what I, what I did have was like, it was like sand almost. Um, just very, um, you know, like brown would come off in, in like, it go like this. And it would, it would be like not, you know how when you get a sunburn on your shoulders and then it starts to peel and you can almost peel it like a little piece, a whole piece will come off. And sometimes it just flakes. Well, this, my face was more of a, just a flake. So I, you know, you wipe it off, you wipe it off, you wipe, 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 wipe. And then it very gently, cause your skin is so raw. And then, um, then after you've, you've washed it and you've, you've wiped off this, the moisture, then you put on right away you put your you put your um your healing balm on this feels so good it's like vaseline basically and then um and then i also had to do um and i think i'm done with this now i had two cups of water i use distilled water and one tablespoon of vinegar mix that into the two cups of water and then what I ended up doing, I probably will get in trouble from the laser police. 
But, you know, at first I laid these uh, little gauze in the water and then I'd take them out and they'd be nice and cold. It felt so good. But then I just started putting a clean washcloth in the water. And then I would actually, I actually I put a hand towel, clean hand towel in the water, squeeze it, squeeze it, it says squeeze it practically dry, and then put it on your face at every place. So the hand towel covered me completely. And I just laid there and you know pressed it into my skin and it had the vinegar in it. And I think that keeps, um, that vinegar helps to keep your pH balanced or neutralized or whatever. And so I had to do that twice a day. And that, that once, I, once I started using the hand towels, it was easy peasy because this, you know, one of these and you take it out and then they get all scrunched like that and you try to undo them and then you're squeezing them and it, you get them on here and then they squish. So I, you know, I don't know. I just started using the hand towels. It seemed to work out better for me. And then after you, after you do the vinegar rinse, once again, you have to, I would take the towel and I'd wipe and I'd wipe and I'd wipe very gently, but more and more skin would come off. I think I, I'm going to get up close because I think most of my skin is, has come off. So I've, I have the, um, the calming balm on. So I still look, I look, I'm shiny and, you know, it gets up into your hair and everything. So, you know, I cannot wear makeup yet. I do have some eye makeup on and some lip stuff on, but I don't, um, you know, I can't use, they said I have to get all new makeup, all new brushes. They don't want any bacteria getting into my skin, you know, you buff stuff in. And they want me to use some kind of a mineral makeup line. So I've been looking at those. You know, I don't know. I used to use Bare Minerals the last time I had something like this done. And I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I think I'm going to buy like the travel size. And that'll get me, you know, that'll give me a little test to see if I like it and how it's working for me. So I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I can't, I cannot wear makeup, face makeup for 10 days. So tomorrow is seven days or tomorrow's seven days. So, you know, I have time to order some makeup and have it, have it arrive. My, my, because it's early, it's early for me. It's seven in the morning. I got, I couldn't, I woke up. Here's another problem. You have to sleep with sitting up and then your face is all greasy and your hair is greasy. So like I've been wearing these headbands or, you know, anything that, but headbands can start to feel tight. And it's like, I don't need another pain on my head. So I, I kind of take my headbands on and off. So it's hard for me to get into a deep slumber because I'm sitting up right at a 90 degrees. Then I've, even though I have towels covering my pillows and pillowcases, um, when I, when I kind of like get into a sleep, I'm thinking, oh no, is my head on the towel or is my head on the on my pillowcase oh my god oh my gosh what should i do you know, let me get it you know and then i'm getting up i'm adjusting myself I'll move the towel over a little bit here move it you know bring, bring it up a little higher so so you know I, I don't get a good deep sleep and that's part of the um the the problem you know with the recovery but then you know i can't go anywhere so i'm i'm housebound i you know they don't want you to go outside they just want you to stay home and hunker down for t like 10 days so i had to get my mail so i get my mail at night or like this morning it was i got my mail about six maybe even earlier and and so i felt you know i wore a hat and i just didn't want any sun rays to get on my face and and it's going to be that way they said for like a month to two months I have to be very cautious that's what my little card says I think or I read that somewhere well I'm gonna finish going over this so I so the for two to five days I had to do just what I explained wash wipe vinegar wash wipe and then always keep your face keep that balm on your face and I have to do that for two weeks, actually. So, like, the way my face looks now, even if I could wear makeup, I've got to wear this balm and a very so strong sunscreen. 
Well, I don't know how strong it is, but. Well, I'm not going to be able to do bare minerals if I'm wearing that, if I have to still use this. Um, okay, now, day 6 through 14. Cleanse with the ultra, with the cleansing cream. Smooth and protect recovery balm. So that what I have on now, I have to keep using. And then use the Silk Shield Sunscreen SPF 30. So I have to do that for two weeks. And then it says, um, it said after that 14 days post laser, they recommend uh, a TNS ceramide moisturizer, um, the, this elastin skin nectar, and then schedule an appointment to see how things turned out. So that's, it says, please do not use any other skin products on your skin during the healing process. Wear a protective hat while outdoors for two to four weeks. Avoid picking exfoliating skin, avoid sun exposure and hot water or steam on the face. Not a problem. <laughs> So, okay, you guys, I think I look 100% better. I can feel my face is, I'm going to say 90% healed. Still, I'm still sensitive. You know, like if I would go to scratch or something, like the other day I got out of the bathtub and I, and I started to dry off and right away I took the towel and kind of went like that. It was like, because <gasps> it, right when it hit my, my decollete right here, it, it was sensitive and actually some skin came off too soon. And so that, that kind of hurts. So I have to be careful. And and this this balm, like I said, it's like a Vaseline. And so it just gets, it's just messy. And like I've got my couch covered. It gets in, it gets on my clothes. I'm, you know, I'm wearing, I'm trying to wear old things. And Poppy is not here. She's at Kathy's. And Kathy has politely, she said, Cindy, I will, <coughs> I will keep Poppy. Because Poppy is very licky, you know, she wants to lick you, and she's got, she, she wants to paw you. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, you know, she, Kathy knows it, and I know it. So I was like, Ugh, what am I going to do with Poppy? But I'm missing her, so I'm going to talk talk to, well, I'm thinking she'll, Poppy will come home tomorrow. So that's good. Well, that's good, you guys. Let's see. I have one thing I want to share with you. I think I told you that I've been wearing these uh, shaper mitts that I have them with the legs and then I have them with, with just like a panty line here. I This is like, they're kind of like an adult onesie and this is what I've been wearing uh, through the summer and then I just put a dress, a sundress on over them or a top and whatever on over it. Uh, I really like them. I recommend these. I'm not, this is not a paid advertisement. It's just that I have been buying these and I've been loving these. And they come in beige, black, red, and uh, gray, I, white, of course. But if you, um, you know, if you're interested, I'm actually going to give this package to Kathy. Um, this is, this is, um, you know, what they are. This is the style I prefer. They have panties, they have bras, they have camis, they have all kinds of, of um, undergarments. But I like this uh, one piece because because it's like a bra and it's kind of like a, a tummy control and there's no line between your panties and your bra. It's smooth. And I buy them a little big because I don't want to be like feel totally tight. So I buy them like maybe one size larger than I really need. And, and it seems, you know, I can get them on fast. They wash really well. I don't put them in the dryer, but I do put them in the washing machine under hand wash. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that, you know, we girls have to, sh have to, um, <laughs> we have to share what's working for us. And I want to thank you ladies. Some of you guys have emailed me and, you know, said, how you doing or where are you or how's your face? So uh, thanks for your concern, but you can see, I'm gonna stand up so you can see my chest. You know, you can see it's just about, well, it's just about healed. And I'm hoping like once the Vaseline is off and, but, but it really has taken the wrinkles here away and it's helped with my scar. 
Now I still have this brown spot, but it will fade a little bit more. And so, you know, my, under, uh, anyway, that's the result basically. But I, I think the proof in the pudding is going to be when I can have make, like makeup on and not this greasy uh, balm. Okay, that's all I got for you. <laughs> Get this uploaded. P.S. I love you. Until our next conversation. Bye-bye.